Ladies and gentlemen, um, my viewers, this is Bratomo's comedy. Please, if this is your first time of seeing this channel, please do wait to subscribe and hit the like button and the notification button so that you can be able to get um, notified whenever we release our wonderful videos. Um, what we want to talk about now is how to cure use one particular herb or leaf to cure high bp to cure high bp high bp and not of in your village. i have money i have money that smells eh? uh, so mm. what do you want uh, what i want simple uh, uh, what i want Nash. What I want is your Nash. See if you can give me this Nash. See, let me tell you. He's not giving this Nash to manage. If you give me this your Nash to manage, ah, people will ask yourself. You will be asking yourself, what? Well, all these years, what have I been doing with my Nash? Is this my Nash? You'll be wondering. No. <laughs> okay, let me ask I manage you. Nash or illegal. In the next five years, where are you seeing your Nash? What? What? That's, yeah. in the next yeah. what is your what is your eviction? What is your eviction? What is your nash? What is how you see your nash? Nash, okay. No problem. Mm. You want nash, okay? Not about nash. Okay, you want nash. Not only high BP, you can also use it to cure um weak erection. Weak erection. So what am I talking about weak erection? Like you be staying with the woman before you know it, you have released. So what am I talking about is is about high BP and the weak erection. A simple thing is something that you, that is very close to you. Um, if you're just joining this particular video, please try as much as you can to um, try as much as you can to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also hit the notification button and like if you like this video. So what am I talking saying is there are so many common leaves that is in your house that you know that is very important to mankind that you can use to cure high blood hypertension that is a um, high blood pressure to cure high blood pressure. You can still use that same to cure what we call them. Um, you can still use that thing to cure that same leaf to cure weak erection. Do you have weak erection? Uh, 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 do you have weak erection? Do you have um, what we call them? Um, quick ejaculation. You see, this is as diseases that causes it. Weak erection it's a, a particular disease that can be gotten from um, toilets, toilet infections, and other kind of um, bacteria can cause um, what we call um, weak erosion. Now, let me go into the main topic. There's a fruit called avocado pear. Avocado pear is a very wonderful medicinal uh, fruit that we can use to cure weak erection. 
we can use avocado pea to cure um, high BP, which is high blood pressure. We can use it to cure it. Uh, and if you are, in case you are having um, suffering from uh, high blood pressure, there are things you have to avoid. You have to avoid things like pepper. You have to avoid eating pepperish food. You have to avoid eating um, ginger. There's a food called ginger. You don't when you know if you're suffering from high blood pressure, you don't need to take ginger because it is pepperish. So instead of ginger, you have to take a garlic. Garlic is is fine for anybody who is suffering from a high blood pressure, high blood pressure, as the case may be. Now, let's jump into avocado pia. So, if you want to cure high blood um, pressure, or you want to cure, um, you want to cure, uh, what, what is it called? You want to cure something like um, weak erection. What you are going to do is, hello, if you are new, if you are just seeing this video, my name is Brad Thomas Comedy. Please do as well to subscribe to this channel and also hit the like button and follow our hit the like button and the subscription button and the notification button so that you will have update of our subsequent videos. Hello, thank you, thank you for listening to us, thank you for following us. Make sure you follow this particular information to the end. Now, what I want to talk about, as I'm saying, is using a simple leaf, one simple leaf to cure high blood pressure and weak ejaculation. Now, weak ejaculation, we are sort of, there is a plant called um, avocado pear. So, avocado pear is a pear, but we're not talking about the avocado pear itself. Avocado pear is a pear that gives them. Um, vitamin k from from avocado pear you'll be able to have vitamin k and what's the work of vitamin k vitamin k will enable you will enable you to get um to get what we call um um clothing of blood when you have vitamin k in your body you have clothing of blood so as i was saying you have to go and get um search for an avocado pear tree so within the tree, you will see um, the leaves, the new leaves, the new leaves that has not dropped, that is not that is not very greenish. Those new, very new leaves. So when you see those leaves, when you see those leaves, you get you gather the leaves. When you gather the leaves, you go and pound it, pound it very very well, pound it very very hard, pound it very correctly. So when you're pounding, make sure there's no pepper in what you're pounding with. If you are if you're grinding it with um, with machine, make sure the machine was not used. The the, the blinding the blinding machine was not used to bl uh, to blind pepper before. And when you're using it for a mortar on a mortar, make sure the mortar is well rinsed. It's well so you you wash it, you wash it first. When you wash it first, you pound it very very well. Pound it very very well. So when you pound it very very well, then you you go and get garlic. So when you get garlic, when you get garlic, you now pound the garlic with it. Pound the garlic with it. When you pound the garlic with it, then you shift it. Then the water is there. So you will you'll be taking the water every spoon. Every morning you take one spoon. Every evening you take one spoon. So that is for that is for avocado pear. That's for avocado pear. Then we have another one for um, high blood pressure. So that high blood pressure, uh, you need to, what you need to do is to bring the avocado pear leaf, cook it very, very well, cook it very, very well, and every morning you drink the water, every evening you drink the water, every night you drink the water. 
So this is this will enable you to it will enable you if you take it for seven days, it will bring down the it will correct the high blood pressure. It will correct the high blood pressure. Now let's move down to another chapter. Like um Let's talk about um, dreams. Let's talk about dreams. I want to tell you about um, seven dreams that means negative things in your life and the positive things in your life. So what are these dreams? Jewish dreams are when you are in your dream, when you are in the dream and you are, when you are in the dream and you are swimming in the dream, it depends, it depends on how you are swimming. Like if you're in a dream and you're swimming and you're, you're in a river and the river is not moving. It has its own meaning. And you are in a dream and the... So when you're, like I was saying, when you're in the dream and in that dream, the river is moving. It is not a friend. It is not move, it is moving. It has its own meaning, like I said. But if the river is stagnant and you're struggling to swim, you're struggling to swim, it has its own meaning. Now, let's start with the, the river, the water that is, that is floating. Now, if you're in the dream and you're swimming in the river and the river is moving, there's a current in the river. It simply means the business that you're, you're doing, the business you're doing at a particular time will yield something. The business you're doing in that particular time will yield something. Like, if this is your first time of seeing this Brother Thomas Comedy TV, please do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also hit the like button as we are going to continue to educate you on things that you need to know about your spiritual lives and about your medical life, your medical status, um, especially, especially uh, in the harbor way, in the simple way of solving your medical problems and your spiritual problems. So what I must say in essence is um, when you are dreaming, in that dream you saw yourself in a, in a river and the river is floating, the river is moving and you're seeing yourself progressing, swimming progressively. It simply means the thing you're about to do the next day, the business you're doing is going to flourish. It simply means where you're going to if you, have, if you have a target for the day, there's, there's some where you're going to go the next day, it simply means the place you're going to be successful. Maybe you're traveling abroad, and this is your first time of going abroad. It simply means where you're going, where you're going abroad, you are going to succeed. When, in case maybe you are applying for a visa, and in your dream, you saw yourself swimming progressively, it simply means it will work. Or... You are about to write jam, you want to do something, you want to enter into a business that you've not done before. And you saw yourself dreaming, swimming in a dream progressively. It simply means that dream will come to pass. It simply means um, that business is going to be successful in your life. Now, we now go to another section of dream. That section of dream is the one that we call... Um, that section of dream is the one we call... So now, let's pop into the next section of dream that is when you're dreaming and the, the place is stagnant the dream the river is stagnant and you're about to be drowning in the river you're about to be drowning in the river and the river is about to drowning you and you're struggling to swim and the river is not moving nothing is moving you're struggling to swim it simply means you have a stagnant um, spiritual life it simply means in the next in what you're doing you're not going to succeed it simply means what you're going to do in the future, you're not going to succeed. If there's a business you're about to venture, maybe it's your first time of going to that business, it simply means that business will not be fruitful. It simply means that business will not yield any benefits. Maybe you want to enter into driving business, it simply means that driving business is not your call. Maybe you want to go into a film production, it simply means that will not occur. Any kind of business, any kind of business you want to do, and you, in the, before that day, prior to that day, Prior to that journey, a day before that journey, you had a dream where you were swimming in a stagnant water and the water is not moving and you're not moving either. Please adjust. Do not venture into that business. Do not uh, embark on that journey because you might not come back. Do not invest in that business because your money will not come back. That is what it simply means. 
Now let's go to dream number number two. Dream number two is when you are in your dream and you're eating. You're in your dream and you're eating. You are eating in the dream. Now it simply means it simply in that dream now it has the positive way and it has the negative way. Now if you're in the dream and you're eating meat, you're eating fresh meat, you're eating fresh meat. Um please if this is your first time of seeing video, please watch and listen to the watch to the ending. This is a very vital information about your life and about your spiritual life and about your health. Because there are so many things that happen in your life that you don't know how it came about and how it happened and where it came about. This is Brother Thomas Comedy. Um, we, are on, we are into comedy and we also do all kind of um, videos. That's why we call it TV. So if it's your first time of seeing this, it's, you're being recommended to this video, please do, do where to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification button so that you you get more of a so that you have more of our uh um our videos whenever we upload you'll be the first person to watch it so as i was saying if you had a dream and in that dream you are eating you are eating meat it simply means if you are not careful something bad will happen because it simply means you are being, you, are, you you want to be initiated into the marine world. You want to be initiated into it's either somebody is about to eat your meat spiritually or you are eating someone's meat spiritually. So how do you eat someone's someone's flesh? It's when you are taking what belongs to someone, if you're eating a person's flesh, or someone is about to eat your flesh, or someone is about to feed someone's flesh to you. You understand? So what I want to say in essence is when you eat when you're eating the meat in the dream is very very bad. It is it you're eating your destiny. It is your destiny that you're eating. Some people will will convert your destiny. Some ritualists will convert your destiny into will convert your destiny into meat so that you eat it in the dream. So that you eat it in the dream. So when you eat it in the dream. Um, you have a, pro a, a serious problem. You see yourself having setbacks. You see yourself having um, promise and fail. You see people, someone will promise you and a person will fail you. It's because you have eaten your destiny in your in the dream. You have they, they have served your destiny as a meat for you to eat. So please, when you have such a dream, when you wake up, you pray hard, you cancel it. You say, God, please do not allow me to eat meat in the dream. Now. Now, let's talk about dreams. Now, we have so many types of dreams. Now, we have three types of dreams. We have conscious dreams. We have subconscious dreams. We have unconscious conscious dreams. Now, a dream that is conscious is a dream that you know you are going to dream about, such as maybe you are, you are supposed to travel to Abuja. You are supposed to travel to Kenya. You are supposed to travel to... to you are supposed to fly to USA to, yeah, tomorrow. And this night you saw yourself in, in a plane. You are flying in a plane. It's called conscious dream. It is a reflection of the body. It's a reflection of the soul. It's what the soul and the body had risen together. It's, what it's, it's, it's called, it's, you can say it's an, it's an imaginational dream. It's by, based on imaginary. Because you've already spoken about or talked about traveling to USA the previous day. So what am I saying in essence is, so that is... It's called a conscious dream. Maybe you want to wash your clothes tomorrow, and this night you had your, you, you saw your dream washing clothes. It's conscious dream. Or another example of conscious dream is you are in the, you are in your in the dream. You are in the dream. Maybe you are supposed to expect you are expecting your brother who is who is who is, who is, who is coming back to, to who is coming back home uh, in a few days time. And you had your, he had, he had called you that he's coming back, and then um, you, and in your dream, you saw him, you saw him coming back. Those things are called a um, conscious dream. Now let's move on to this other section of dream. That section of dream is called um, unconscious dream, unconscious dream, um, subconscious dream. Sorry. So what is subconscious dream? Subconscious dream is. 
maybe you had you it's a dream you had without knowing that you have such a dream you are or your unconscious you're supposed to have such a dream but it is it's within life and within dream and uh, imaginations or reality and just like you are sleeping and you you're playing a radio set you're playing a music in in, in the real life on, on your on your a music is playing over your head on the bed and you, in the dream you saw the the artist that was playing that that was singing that song life in the dream these things are called subconscious dream now maybe somebody is calling you calling your name really on somebody is calling you on real life in real life, ah, it's calling your name. Your name is James, 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 James. Then you are hearing your name in a dream that somebody is calling you, but you did not wake up. These are called subconscious dream. Then you can be dreaming and be talking out. You can be dreaming and be and be and be crying real, in real life. These things are subconscious dream because you are doing it consciously, but you are also dreaming. You are conscious of what you are doing. Maybe you are talking. And people are hearing you talking about your your dreaming. Some people can be hearing you, seeing you crying, and tears will be on your on your on in your eyes. But you are also dreaming. So what am I saying in essence is it's all about that is that is all about a conscious dream. Okay, in case this is your first time of hearing my voice, this is Brother Thomas Comedy. Uh, please do well to like and. Um, Subscribe to our YouTube channel as we feed you with information that will enrich your soul, like your like your herbal life, your medical life, and your spiritual life. Please, if you like this video, if you think find this video interesting, please do it to hit the like button and also hit the subscription buttons and the notification button so that you have you get our uh, our informations. Whenever we, we paste it, you'll be the first to watch our videos whenever you, you get it. So what am I saying in essence is sub, it's all about subconscious dream. Now subconscious dream now. Subconscious dream subconscious dream is a dream you had unconsciously. Now let's go it boils down to sub to conscious dream. What is conscious dream? Uh, uh, what is unconscious dream per se? Sorry for the mistake. Now, unconscious dream is a dream you had without without being conscious, without being thinking about it. Like, you just, you didn't think about anything and you slept and you saw yourself being killed in the dream because you will never be dreaming of, you will not be thinking of killing yourself in any way. A, a conscious dream is also when you're dreaming and you saw yourself, somebody killed you. Somebody killed your brother. Somebody, your relative died. Such things are called unconscious dream. You saw yourself traveling to a place that you don't know. You saw yourself traveling on a vehicle, and on the road, the on the way the vehicle had accident. Such are called conscious, unconscious dream because you're not conscious of it. You see, so you'll be having a fight in a dream, a dream that you not think of. You never thought of you will have yourself see yourself fighting in that dream. These are called unconscious dream. It is unconscious because you do not know that you're going to dream. So now that is this these are the three types of dream we have in life, which is conscious dream, unconscious dream, and sub and um, subconscious dream. Now let's move down to eating. So when you're eating a dream, it is very, very bad. So make sure you avoid eating the dream. So how do you avoid eating the dream? It's simply, whenever you want to eat, want, want to sleep, eat very, very well. Eat very, very well before you go to bed. Because if you don't eat very well, the devil will take advantage of your hungry body. Your hungry body to feed you in the dream. And besides, and in that, in, that, in the process, your destiny will be at stake. Your career will be at stake. Your business will be at stake. Everything, you, your, your talent will be at stake. You'll be having setback every day. Now, another dream that means setback is you are a graduate, you finished school for a long time, and you've served your nation, 
and then now you are now working. So constantly you will see yourself uh, in a secondary school attire, in a secondary school uniform or in a primary school uniform. Such dream simply means setback. It simply means setback. So whenever you are dreaming, whenever you are dreaming and you saw yourself in a primary school uniform, see yourself with your fellow classmates, this is dream number three. Dream number three. So this dream number three now, that is, I target dreaming about your past. See yourself in in school uniform. See yourself in school uniform simply is a very bad dream. It simply means you are going back. Your business is going back. Your business is going to scratch. So whatever you are doing, you are going back to scratch. So whenever you wake up and see such a dream, you pray very hard and cancel, or you meet your spiritual father, like your father, your reverend father, your pastor, your reverend father, or your prophetess, or your prophet, to tell him about or her about this particular dream. Sleep, sleeping in the dream and seeing yourself in a secondary school or a primary school uniform, it is a, it's bad. It is set back because you have passed that level. You're not supposed to come out to that level. So whenever you're seeing that, it simply means you are, you are, you are going to have a setback. So if you also you are also in the dream, if you are also in the dream, and you are seeing yourself traveling up back always to, in, to your village, and why whereas you live in the city, you live in the urban settings, you live abroad, and you see yourself going back to the village every time, you have to be very careful because some people something wants to take you back to the village. It could be sickness, it could be barrier, it could be anything. So pray hard so that such thing does not work now let's go down to dream number four hello viewers if this is your first time this is your first time of this is your first time of seeing this channel Shh. if your first time of seeing this channel do what well to do what well to subscribe to this youtube channel and also hit the notification button so that you can be able to see our videos whenever we post it. And if you like this video, if you find it interesting, if you find it helpful, go straight. If you find it helpful, go straight and hit the like button. Now let's go to dream number four. Dream number four. If you know, if you are in the dream and you're seeing yourself Riding a bicycle, riding a bicycle, riding a bicycle is a very dangerous dream. You, are, you see yourself riding a bicycle. Riding a bicycle is a very dangerous dream. See yourself in a bicycle is a very dangerous dream. What does it mean? You are, your bicycle does not move fast. Bicycle does not move fast. It simply means you are struggling you are struggling you are struggling with your life you are struggling with your business whatever you are doing you are struggling so somebody is has put a bicycle in your life because before you must move a bicycle it has to come with your sweat and your energy it takes energy to move a bicycle it takes energy to move bicycle immensely so it simply means your strength your power has to be involved it simply means your energy has to be involved before you move a bicycle. So what I might have to say is you need to move a bicycle before a bicycle will move. So as if you are seeing yourself in a dream and you have you are driving a bicycle, you are in trouble. So you have to very pray, you have to pray hard for God to remove stagnancy in your life. For God to remove what? stagnancy in your life it simply means you are struggling it simply means you're going to be struggling in your life it simply means you have to be struggling in your life and whatever you're doing is going to be bent on struggling there, there will be no favor in your life everything has to come with you so that is so if you had such a dream you have to pray very very hard you have to pray very very hard you have to pray very very hard now let's boil down to dream number five. Dream number five. Dream number five. 
So if you if you are in a dream and you are making love in the dream, you are making love in the dream, you are a man, you are a woman, so in that dream you are making love, you are in trouble. You are in trouble. Now, this is what happens to everybody every day. So many people. I used to have this dream every day. Making love in a dream. If you're a man, you make love to a woman in a dream. If you're a woman, a man will make love to you in the dream. When when it ha used to happen to me, I always have disappointment. The, the next day, I will always have failure. The next day, I will always have um, a... a, 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 a I'll have backsliding in my business. I'll have it, I'll be having setback in my business. It is that it simply means you have a spiritual husband. You have a spiritual husband, or you have a spiritual wife. So it is that your spiritual husband and your spiritual wife that is setting you back. Your spiritual husband and your spiritual wife is setting you back. You need to correct that impression. Sleeping in the dream with a woman is very very bad sleeping in the dream with a man is very very bad what are you going to do is what you're going to do is to pray hard pray very hard pray very hard over it so that it will not repeat so it will not happen again so sleeping with a woman in the dream is very very bad it simply means you have a spiritual wife and that spiritual wife is the one that is blocking your... The day you refuse to sleep with her, you will stop progressing. And some of them are very, very diabolic. They are diabolic already. They will block your ways. The more you sleep with them, the more your ways stop. And whenever you sleep with them, you will have problem in your relationship. You will have problem in your relationship. You will not have wife. No woman will come, to, will come close to you. They will... They will set problem with you and your wife, or they will set problem with you and your 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 husband or your concubine or your boyfriend or your girlfriend. That is what it is. Because and if you have a spiritual, this is how to discover that you have a spiritual wife or you have a spiritual husband. Now, if you are dream, you are you are dream number six. If you are in your dream and you are sleeping with a woman. You are swimming with a woman. You have a marine wife. You have a marine wife. Because you are not supposed to be sleeping and dreaming. Swimming with a woman. You have a, these, these things are called uh, unconscious dreams. So that woman, that woman you are dreaming, you are, you are swimming with is a marine wife. So you have to be very careful. Whenever you have a such a dream, you meet your pastor, you meet your reverend, you meet your father, whoever that is, your spiritual your spiritual father, you wherever you go, you tell us, look at the kind of dream I had. It's a very bad dream. Be very careful of that dream. Sleeping, uh, dreaming with dreaming where you are swimming with a, a a woman. It simply means you have a marine spiritual wife. We have normal spiritual wife. We also have marine wife. So marine wife is stronger than normal spiritual wife. Marine wife is stronger than normal spiritual wife. So this is the meaning. That is how to discover that you have a marine wife. So as long as you are sleeping. And now, how do you know that you are, you are married? How do you know that you are, you are married in the marine world? How do you know? I'm going to take, tell you this. Just calm down. Listen to this video to the end. You will not regret it. You will find an information that will impact in your life, that will impact your life positively. You will find a very informative thing that will educate you in your spiritual life. This, in case this is your first time of subscribing to this channel, this is your first time of coming across this channel, please do well to subscribe to this channel and hit the like button and hit the like button and also the notification button so that whenever we post you are going to be notified you will be the first person that will receive our videos you will be the first person that will receive our videos because we post every blessed week we post you can also follow us on on facebook on facebook brother thomas comedy tv you can also follow us on instagram 
Brad Thomas Comedin. And we are also on Twitter and every other social media account with the same name. So, like I'm saying now, ways to understand that you have a spiritual, you are marrying the spirit, or you married a spiritual wife. One, you will see yourself constantly eating. You see yourself constantly eating with a woman in the dream. You see yourself constantly eating with a woman in the dream. Now, another sign of knowing that you have a spiritual wife or a spiritual a marine wife, you see that no girl, you will not have a long-lasting relationship. You will not have a long-lasting relationship. When you know that when you don't have a long-lasting relationship, it simply means that you have a spiritual wife. It is that spiritual wife that is disturbing that your physical girlfriend or your spiritual your, your relationship. Secondly, another way to know that you have a spiritual wife. The other way to know that you have a spiritual wife is when you are engaged, you see some you are engaging a woman in the dream. That is the particular day that you, you were dead in the dream. It is a particular day you were dead in. Some people saw it. Some people are, are, are some people as as were dead in the dream, but they did not know. They take it common. So they gave a ring to a woman in the dream with the face of the, their girlfriend. Because a marine spirit, a marine wife cannot come to you physically with Marine spirits or marine wife or marine girlfriend or marine woman or spiritual wife will not come with her own face. You, the, she will come with the face of her, of your present wife or your present girlfriend. Or your, if you're into a relationship, your present relationship, your relationship, the person you are dating currently or you want to date currently. So your, he will come. She will come with that face. So you now wear that thinking, you now wear that thinking that, um, is your girlfriend thinking that it's your concubine then the next day that your girlfriend will depart from you you will not know how the problem will come in you will not know how you get you will have issue with her and the two of you will will break up so what caused the what caused the, the breakup is that spiritual wife because you have waited in the dream you have waited in the dream now after that dream now the other dream you will start get, having is you see yourself Stay with a pregnant woman in the dream. You see, the next thing you see yourself with a pregnant woman in the dream. That is the third sign that you know that you have you are you have a spiritual wife. You see yourself with a pregnant woman in the dream. So when you see yourself with a pregnant woman in the dream, it simply means that your wife in the dream you have impregnated her. You have impregnated her. They might not come with the same, the, same face, the same faces like they came the last time. They will come with different faces. They will come with different faces. With, with different world faces. Different world faces. So now, you, when you start seeing yourself with the pregnant woman in the dream, this I'm telling you is what we're experiencing every day. This is what has been happening every day. A couple of people have been calling me, asking me. Uh, I used to see myself in the dream. With a pregnant woman, what does it mean? So this is the dream. This is the meaning. It simply means you have a spiritual wife or a, a spiritual, a wedded spiritual wife. Another sign for you to understand that you have a spiritual wife is when you are sleeping with them, you see yourself now having children. You see yourself having children, having multiple children, and from one child to children. Before you know it, this today you see yourself, you had a dream where yeah, you are carrying a baby. You're carrying a baby. You're carrying a baby. You're carrying a baby. You're carrying a baby. It simply means you have that your spiritual wife has what has put put to bed. So what I'm saying in a sense is you need to be very careful. Whenever you have the dream that you're swimming with, with with a woman in the dream, be very, very careful. Instantly go and pray. Meet your spiritual director meet your spiritual director for counseling so that you will understand what your dream is all about so that this is the only way you can prevent it but if you take it for granted your spiritual wife will, gen will generate to be wedding you weather and you people will start making children in the dream 
and whereby it will affect your physical life. It will affect you in the in the in the real time. You will not have a, a normal relationship. No woman will like to date you. If you date a woman today, tomorrow she will run away. If you marry today, tomorrow the woman will have issue. Before you know it, the woman will stop giving birth because you have really already given birth in the dream in the in the, in the dream in the spiritual world. Sometimes your wife cannot conceive. You ask yourself, why is it my wife is not conceiving? You go to hospital and they will tell you that they will tell you that your your wife is okay medically and you are also okay medically. It simply means you are you have a spiritual wife and you have given birth in the spiritual world that is why you cannot give birth physically so to tackle the, the problem is you need to you need to stop it don't worry in, in my subsequent videos i am going to tell you how to stop spiritual wife and how to stop spiritual husband so if you're a woman and you will see yourself being engaged in the dream that is how it started they might come with the, your spiritual husband might come with the face of your current boyfriend so you think you are with your boyfriend you are not you don't know that you are having a spiritual husband so your spiritual husband will engage you in the name of your boyfriend in the name of your 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 spouse before you know it you will start you will start dating that your spiritual husband in the dream so what am I saying in essence is so you need to be very careful when you have a, such a dream you need to go home you know, when you have such a dream, you pray first. You pray first, you go for counseling, you meet your pastor, your reverend father, your bishop, your prophet, your prophetess, your, your evangelist, whoever is your spiritual director. You meet him or her and tell her, see you, look at the type of dream I had. So that is about spiritual wife and spiritual husband. This is how to know whether you have a spiritual wife or a spiritual husband. Now, let us move down to another segment of dream. Now, when you are in a dream and you are picking money, you are picking money, and the money you are picking does not finish. If you are picking money, you pick from here to here. You pick from here to here. You pick from here to here. You pick from here to here, you pick from here to here, you'll be picking money every day in your dream. It has a meaning. Picking money in the dream is significant. It has a serious meaning. If it is either you are, when you're picking money in the dream, there's a problem. It simply means you might the business you are going to do, where it has two ways, is either the business you want to do that particular time is going to fetch you a lot of money. And money will come in different ways. Different ways. You'll be picking money in different ways. That's how to know that you have you have um you are going to success you want to be successful. So when you're you're picking money, you're picking money, you're picking money, you're picking money, every time you're picking money. You understand? So, it's simply as God is, God is about to favor you. But the bad thing about it is, when you, when you pick one and the money will finish, the road of picking the money will finish. So, there's a problem regarding to that, that way. Because you're not supposed to be picking money, you're supposed to be making money. Nobody picks money. Nobody picks money. So, dream number eight. I just told you about dream number seven is picking money in the dream. Picking money in the dream has two ways. It's either the money you're picking is continuous. You're picking the money and it's continuous. You're picking the money and it's continuous. Somebody's about to set a trap for you. Somebody is about to set a trap for you with money. They want to use money to get you. They want to use money to set a trap for you. That is what it means. It's negative. They want to use money to set a trap for you. When you're picking money in the dream, and the money has a road and you're following the money and the money is going. It simply means somebody wants to somebody wants to use money to get you. So you have to be very careful. Very, very careful when you're picking money in the dream. You say, God, do not allow me to to somebody to get me through money, through material things. If you're a, a woman, you're picking money, they want to use money to get you. They want to set you up with money. That's why you're picking it and 
it is continuous and it is going and you're, and you're following the route of the morning now if you're in your dream and you are if you're in your dream and you are picking um snail you are picking snail in your dream you are picking snail or you're picking premenko you're picking snail that is dream number eight you're picking snail you're picking premenko in your dream so you're picking snail and you're picking premenko you're a woman and you're plugging fruits you're plugging fruits you're plugging fruits like mangoes you're plugging mangoes you're plugging um, uh, any kind of fruit apart from plantain apart from plantain apart from plantain it is very very good because something fruitful is about to happen in your life it's either your wife is about to get pregnant or it's either you're, you you as a girl you are you're pregnant already you are pregnant already or you, the girl you slept with is already pregnant for you or there's something good is about to happen in your life. The business you want to do is, 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 a, is a good news. It's about to happen. The other thing is, but if you are in, a, in your dream and you are seeing yourself cutting plantain, cutting plantain is a very bad dream. To cut plantain in the dream is very bad. It simply means you want to, you want to, you are, you're cutting a destiny. There's something you want to cut that they don't want to exist again. There's, if somebody is cutting a plantain, be very careful with that person because the person wants to kill somebody. He wants to kill a talent. He wants to kill a talent. It wants to kill a talent. So you have to be very careful when you have a dream and you're seeing yourself cutting plantain. So when you wake up, you pray against it. Somebody is about to die in your family. Somebody, but the person must be an elderly man. Somebody, an elderly man wants to have die in your family that is cutting a tree. Or when you are, you are in the dream and and when you are in your dream and a, a, a tree, a very huge fresh tree fell off, was put by, by wind. That's a problem. So the problem is the problem is because it is in the dream. So because it's in the dream. So somebody is about to somebody, a young man or a young woman is about to die in your family. Because there's no way a tree that is fresh, that is strong enough will just fall fall, fall like that. They will be put down by the wind. So what I'm saying in essence is once such a dream happens, you have to be very, very, very careful about the dream because some prayer against it somebody a young man is about to die in your family if you are in the dream and you saw yourself if you're in the dream and you saw yourself dreaming and a fresh tree instead of instead of a dried wood died fell down somebody a fresh dies a young man a vibrant young man a talented young man or a young woman is about to die in your family it's about to die in your family dream number 10 dream number 10 when you're in your dream and you are um ladies and gentlemen my viewers good morning good afternoon good evening depending on your locations like this is your first time of seeing my videos and you have not subscribed please do well to subscribe to this youtube channel as we feed you with things that will nourish your body, things that will nourish your spirit. Because you must have made so many mistakes, you must have had so many dreams, and you did not know the meaning. This channel will tell you the meaning of that dreams. If like if you have a dream, you have your question to ask, you have a dream about a particular thing, and you want to know the meaning of that dream, just drop your comments, and I will tell you what it means. I will tell you what it means. So please, subscribe to our YouTube channel, as we will release so many videos about your spiritual life, about your your dream life, about your 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 medical life and all that. So now, if you have a dream like I told you, 
and a very mighty tree fell from fell in your house. A tree that you know that this tree is not supposed to fall by this time. It's still a fresh tree. And a, a dried wood, a dry tree is still standing. It simply means it simply means somebody is about to die in your family. And that person is a young man who is who, which is not supposed to whom is not supposed to die. Whom is not supposed to die. So what I'm saying in essence is you have to be very careful with such a dream. Such a dream will help you. Will if when, when you have such a dream, you have to sleep very. You have to you have to pray very very hard. You have to pray very hard. Please don't mind my language. You know I just finished a program yesterday, uh, so the spirit told me to come and tell tell, tell you guys this about dreaming. Now dreaming now. So when such a tree falls in your compound, call your people, call your family members, let them pray. Consult a prayer in your house about a fresh tree that fails. Because it has happened in my family, it has happened in, your, in my family. So another dream that will make you understand that somebody is about to die in your family is when you are, you are, you are, you are in the dream and you are digging foundation. You are digging grave. You are digging grave. You are digging grave. Somebody is about to die. It's either your own grave or your brother's grave or your sister's grave or your mother's grave or your father's grave or your sibling's grave. So you, are very, you have to be very careful. When you have a, such a dream, when, if you are digging ground, you are digging ground in the dream, it is very bad. You want to bury something. You want to bury something. So that is another dream sign that will make you understand that somebody is about to die in your family. Now, another way that makes you to understand that someone is about to die in your family is when you are crying constantly in the dream. You are crying constantly in the dream. You are crying constantly in the dream. Somebody is about to die in the dream. Somebody in your family is about to die. In your, in, 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 about to die. So when you have such a dream, you pray very hard. Another way is to understand that that somebody that someone is about to die, that someone is about to die in your family. Another ways to know it is number one, please listen to this, listen to this information very, very well. It's about your dream life so that you will not be taking some of your dreams for granted. You will not be taking some of your dreams for granted. You will not be taking some of the dreams you have for granted. You will not be taking some of your dreams you have for granted. If this is your first time of seeing this channel, please do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Brother Thomas Comedy. Just hit the subscription button as we bring to you videos that will impact in your life positively, videos that will enhance your, your spiritual life, videos that will make you understand your dreams. Whenever you have dream, you will know the meaning of that dream. So what am I saying in essence is, now, Another way to understand that someone is about to die in your family is when you cry constantly in the dream. When you cry constantly in the dream, somebody is about to die. If you will dream today and you will be crying, and the next day you will dream again, or the next three days you will start crying again in the dream. You don't know why you are crying, but you know you are crying. Somebody is about to die. Now, another way to know that you, someone is about to die in your family is... Another way to know that somebody is about to die in your family is when you see yourself, when you see a poster, a poster in your family. You, see, you are seeing a poster in the dream. You are seeing poster constantly in the dream. It simply means somebody is about to die in your family. So you have to pray against it. You have to pray against it, against poster in your family. Whenever you are seeing posters in your family, it simply means somebody is about to die in your family so you have to be very careful about it you have to be very very careful about dying about seeing a poster in the dream when you see a poster and when you wake up you say god you pray very hard that you don't want anything that will bring death or anything in your in your family the poster might be might be election poster the poster might be movie poster the poster might, might be uh, anything but Something bad is about to happen. Now, lastly, 
the last way to understand that somebody is about to die in your family is when you're seeing a casket in your dream. You are seeing, sometimes you see yourself carrying a casket in the dream, or sometimes you see yourself um, helping somebody to carry a casket in the dream, or sometimes you see yourself where they placed a casket in the dream. In one way or the other, you see yourself, you see yourself seeing a casket in the dream. See yourself seeing casket in the dream. It simply means you have somebody's about to die in your family. So then you if you want to know if it's a, if it's a young man that will die or a, an old man that will die, it is the nature of the casket that will tell you. If it's a young man, the casket will be not will not be that beautiful. It will be very it will not be fancy. The casket with those those small long caskets. Those small long caskets, it simply means a youth is about to die in your family. But when you know that the casket is big and the casket is very is very fancy, it simply means an old man is about to die in your family. So that is a way to know about how to if, if somebody is going to die in your family in the nearest future or in the next weeks or in the next month or this month or whatever these are the signs now let us go down to the next episode the next um, topic the next dream dream number 11 dream number 11 how to understand your talent through your dream how to understand your talent through your dream number one if you are if you have a talent, your talent is your dream. Your talent is what you want to do in the nearest future. Your talent is what is in you. So how do you want to understand that this is what I'm going to do in, in, for a living? How do I get it? How do I understand it? It is from your dream. Your dream will show you that you are going to be this. And if you do contrary to your dream, you will not work well. Now, if you are supposed to be a banker, if you are seeing yourself, you are a student now, and you're seeing yourself, you are in the secondary school now, you're seeing yourself, um, you're seeing yourself in a bank. Constantly you see yourself in a bank. Every night and day you see yourself in a bank. It simply means you are going to be a banker. There is no two ways about it. Whenever you dream, you see yourself in a bank. Whenever you dream, you see yourself in a bank. It simply means you are going to be a banker. Another way now, if you are you are a secondary school student and you're seeing yourself as a lawyer, you see yourself always in the court, you see yourself always wearing a lawyer thing, it simply means it is not there is no two ways about it. This is how to discover your talent and follow it. If you don't know how to discover your talent, this is how to discover your talent. This is how to discover your talent. This is how to know that through through you are going to become a lawyer. Now, if you see yourself constantly in a hospital attending to people, they are not they are not admitted in the hospital in the dream. But in the dream, you see yourself always in the hospital. You see yourself always in the hospital attending to people, solving people's problem, solving people's problem, attend, giving people medications, giving them injection. It simply means you are going to be a doctor or a nurse. Then how do you discover the kind of doctor you are going to be? Is the kind of treatment you are, your kind of ailment that you are treating in that dream. So you have to be very careful. Whenever you are dreaming, you have to be very careful. So you have to be listening very careful so that you will know where your destiny is channeled. You will know where you are going to. You know what you are doing and how you are going to do it and how it's going to be. So these are your, your kind of dreams. These are the dreams you will have and you say, I have a dream. These are the kind of dreams. When you have such a dream, so when you have such a dream, when you have such a dream, when you have such a dream, you know that this is where your talent lies. So another one is if you will see yourself always teaching people in the dream. You see yourself always teaching people in the dream. See yourself always teaching people in the dream. See yourself always teaching people in the dream. It simply means you are going to be a teacher. You are going to be a teacher. So there is no two ways about it. You can become a teacher. So, so what am I saying in essence is that is 
that is so it simply means you are going to be a teacher or then you are going to be a teacher a lecturer anything so you must be someone that teaches people then if you're always preaching in the dream, you are always preaching in the dream, you are controlling congregations, you're always preaching the dream, you're controlling congregations, this simply means you are going to be, you are teaching the dream always, you are controlling congregations, you are giving Simon, you're preaching, you are a man of God, you're a prophetess, you are, you're going to be a reverend father. That is a science to understand that you are going to be a man of God. This is the science to understand. First, you go under this bridge. Watch me do it. Let's go there. It's all right. Let's go there. Remember, I told you this is not a sexy training. Bring out your, bring down your butt. Yes, yes, yes. You're getting there. Correct. Yes. Yes. Let's go there. Congratulations. <laughs> nice person, please. Let's go there. Sure. Pakistan, here you come. To be a Pakistan soldier is not a day job. Let's go there. Wait to the lady. Bring down your axe. Bring it down. Let's go there. Yes, yes. Yes, you're getting there, you're getting there, you're getting there. Correct. Congratulations. Shots. Nice person. Nice. What? Why are you more money? Why boot you, Kugi? Bring that to your butt. Bring down your butt. All right. Pakistan soldier indeed. Congratulations. The last person. I'm not the least. Pakistan. Hey. Young millionaires. Young millionaires. That is the price you pay. Be a millionaire is not a day job. Bring down your breast. Congratulations. Clap for yourself.